Okay, so I'm gonna end up making this spinach salad. I have some frozen carrots. So I'm gonna end up letting these thaw out. I'm gonna let these thaw out, but I'm gonna break these up and I'm gonna use spinach. And I'm gonna make the salad dressing up in a few minutes. Uh, it includes um, uh, extra virgin olive oil, about a cup and a quarter, uh, about a cup and a quarter of um, vinegar. I mean, apple cider vinegar with the mother. Okay, I'm going to use about uh, a cup and one quarter of olive oil, organic olive oil for this recipe, and a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using the uh, Redmond's Red Real Salt, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'm using a tablespoon of sesame oil that I'm just going to massage. And the spinach normally you can use kale for this but i'm using spinach because that's what i have on hand because i have several things going on here i'm actually making some mashed potatoes in the crock pot but neither here nor there so i got quite a few things out that i shouldn't but i'm in a rush today so i'm gonna try to get this garlic take this out and so i can put it in my dressing and so i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh all all the skin taken off of it Okay, so I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in the apple cider vinegar. This is about a cup, and I'm going to add a cup and a quarter. I'm actually going to put this in my little blender, and I'm going to mix this up because I want my, um, I want my garlic in here too. So <laughs> I'm going to mix this up real good. So I'm going to add my quarter cup. Yes. This is going to be delicious. Then I'm going to add about a few tablespoons. I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of agave nectar. This is organic as well. I'm going to add in about six cloves of garlic. About a fourth teaspoon of pepper. I'm adding in... Um, Three tablespoons of lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice, and this is organic as well. So here is the dressing all mixed up. And so I'm going to go ahead and actually this particular dressing is great overnight. So I would actually put this on the spinach and let it sit overnight. And oh my gosh, it's got a, it's delicious. So I end up pouring, so here's the, the dressing that's made. It's all blended together. And so I'm gonna use this on my spinach salad tomorrow. Well, I may blend it tonight and let it marinate on the salad tonight and eat it tomorrow. The salad just delicious, I already taste it. So yes, it's good. So I just want to thank my girl, Annie, who teaches like plant-based, uh, I guess, eating on a Sunday. And she taught this recipe. She uses it on a kale, a kale salad. And so I'm going to use this on spinach because that's what I have in stock. And so use what you have and use the ingredients you have. So I use all the ingredients I have already in stock. And so I just want to mix this up real quick and let it sit and marinate and let the flavors, oh, yes, let the flavors join. So this is, thank you for joining my station. Come on back, learn something new, see you soon. So I'm gonna use this on my spinach salad. And I'm not gonna need, need all that much because I'm gonna put the rest in the refrigerator. I'm gonna leave the rest in the refrigerator. Of course, I'm gonna make it mashed potatoes, so that's <laughs> over in my crock pot. But I'm gonna mix this up real well and let it sit in marinate.